Uh, looks like they're going to do some sort of inner push here, perhaps. They might drop down Pop. We'll see. We're moving across to Markolov, who has got the AWP. This is what we want to see. How is Markolov going to control uh, this uh, this game with that AWP, which is so vital on train, especially as CT. And you can see that CIG have gone for this fast push on inner. Zeus is going to get one, going to get two. Can't get a third. Ben's going to take him down. And uh, Red Snake is trying to put down some smoke so they can maybe get this plant but Na'Vi of course have rotated they're savvy at what's going on great uh, spray there from C9 down at distance and uh, you've got drone just kind of trying to loop around come behind the bomb has been planted there's another team kill every time we cast a game <laughs> there's some horrific embarrassing team kill and that's more like the true level i think we're going to see from crg uh in this game uh, yeah. throughout and i wouldn't be surprised if navi turns this around completely and we get a cf 12-3 scored this half i mean especially navi ct train mm. yeah well uh, yeah exactly i i, I think uh, it's going to be one of those uh, one of those moments where that initial boost of confidence that the uk players have from winning the pistol they're going to get quickly bumped back down to earth over the next three four rounds when they perhaps comprehensively get out aimed and and uh, indeed it's not even necessarily the players they need to worry about it's just the inherent bias nature of the map you have to be very well drilled as terrorists to do anything on yeah, the train, yeah. Uh, yeah. let alone when you're facing experienced players that know the angles and, and know how to shoot you down but uh, while I'm saying that, uh, Red Snake gets an entry frag. So he's playing particularly well, but Zeus is going to get another cheeky double on this inner train bomb site. So he's having a, getting nice and settled. Markov on the rotate from spawn. He's going to take down Spuds. The so Benman to three, moving in for the plant. Not going to get it though. Starix is going to uh, eradicate him. So Drone, the last man standing, had that embarrassing team kill last round. Going for a bit of the old bait factor this round. He's going, going, he's uh, going on to Senya right now. And he's heading. Yeah, he's playing right into their hands. Oh, no, he's read that well. He is going to get that AK headshot. So that's one down. But Markolov waiting with the AWP. That's not a crosshair you want to walk into. And that is going to make it three rounds to two. So it's panning out pretty much as expected. I think we're going to have an eco uh, here. Uh, so I'll talk to you about the navi set up on train now obviously i know the map is very different to 1.6 um you know it, there's there's uh, different areas different boxes ivy's completely different in how it's set up it's m a lot more similar to the source map uh have you noticed anything about the way that navi have set up that you find maybe surprising or interesting uh well actually not it looks like they're playing uh, like war clown said earlier like 1.6 style and source style. You have uh, one guy going aggressive uh, on the lower in in inner bomb site, and the rest of them going outside. And you just have an op uh, Markov now just being back up in the connector area. And again, orping is so vitally important on this map, uh, not just because of the way it's laid out distance-wise, but if you as T have an aggressive orper that can push out of main control the frag, shut down the rival offer. it allows you to get better map position and you'll notice that CRG are playing five AKs, which I don't think is going to be particularly uh, the, the right way to play this. But again, they've managed to get uh, a trade, so they're going to push into this inner bomb site when just waiting for Auto Director to uh, catch up there. Um, we'll get that back on. Uh, and yeah, they've managed to get another plant here. So as expected, uh, the terrorists having a lot of joy on this inner bomb site. But of course, this is a very easy one, uh, rotate-wise, to get. No, that's a great couple of kills from Drone, as I say that, though. Two absolutely brilliant headshots. He's really put his team into this. He might be able to clutch it against so Markov. He's got to just maintain his composure. Oh. He is going to do it. And that's absolutely huge individual play from the UK Minnows again. Drone there with a great three-man. That's something he's going to insist on having a clip made out of. Yeah, great play there from uh, CR CRG overall. I mean, they did the absolutely right thing versus Navi. They went for a fast inner push, just rushing down low. No fear, even if they're flashed. They, just ha they know they have to get down on the bomb site before Markolov uh, is, is able to back up. Um, I mean, do, do you think that's why maybe they're playing with five AKs? Because they don't want to get involved in a duel with Markolov. What they're looking to yeah. do is just fast push places, get smokes down, and then force him to come to them. Yeah, exactly. I actually think the smokes are more important versus an AWP than uh, having an AWP themselves, since uh, the CT is obviously going to be first in the angle, if you know what I mean. And uh, you saw there we had uh, C9 pushed into uh, that spot as he ran out of side and managed to hide behind that smoke. Does get a kill. Zeus is going to weigh in with a nade kill. And there's the danger man from uh, last round. Drone just having a look around while Reason 
and uh, Ben get taken out of this round. And last man standing again. Does manage to get a cheeky little headshot there. Still a 1v3 situation. And Mark Love just going to peek. And he makes the orping look so easy. Uh, and that's going to make it four rounds to four. But still a very good haul for CRG to have four rounds. Perhaps many people wouldn't have predicted them to get even that. Yeah, however, I think they're super low on money right now. I think they're down yeah. to $1,400. So, uh, like, winning a 1v1 situation can sometimes backfire, actually. And, you like, losing the next round means you have zero money and you have basically are forced to two ecos. Yeah. Well, you can see we've got another eco coming in, so I'm just going to ask you a question about Markov's orping. Uh, a lot of people, we, we had this discussion, well, I say we, uh, I guess the, the, the CSGO community had this discussion uh, about where he's going to measure up in terms of great orping, because as you said, fantastic orp, and no one can deny his 1.6 pedigree. There seemed to be a large discussion about who was better, Markov or Kenny S. It's got to be Markov, hasn't it? Well, of course, I'm going to say Markov coming from the 1.16. I'm going to say it as well, though. I mean, yeah. I don't think Kenny S has done enough to be mentioned in the. But it's the same it's actually not yet. fair for me to judge him because I I didn't actually watch uh, Kenny S in. Uh, I, I I only watched him in CS:GO, not in CS CSource. Well, Markov's looking pretty goddamn good here. Uh, I gotta say, he's impressed me so far with his orping. And what's interesting is you'll see now that CRG have picked up an orp of their own. Ben with a three, who is an orper primarily. Uh, for those that don't know that, he's going to come in and perhaps he's going to try and go head-to-head -head with the big Ukrainian. That's going to be an interesting duel. You can see at the moment we've got Zeus just uh, lurking behind that train with smoke in hand. And uh, what CRG are trying to do now is they're trying to just feel out other areas of the map where they can have some joy. They know they can get to inner pretty much any time they want. That's the inherent nature of the map. That's the one area T's have the advantage. But it's quite a hard bomb site to hold. Uh, Starix and Drone are just trading at main, just trading, and you can see that there's a lot of uh, terrorists uh, at side. Navi dealing with it. Ben trying to do some pixel peeking. So this is uh, crucial. Yeah, they're just trying to get an early pick right now. I mean, yeah. uh, just feeling Navi out. I don't know if that's the right decision, though, on train, since it lets Navi go out on yard, go up in the towers and get into really good position. I don't know if it's the right decision against Navi. But chance are you're going to get out A. You can see that they're pushing, and C9's got two kills there. Again, make it look easy, but Red Snake, he's having a great game. It's got to be said, like, he's been the most consistent CRG player. Answers back with two shots of his own, and all of a sudden, Markov's the last man standing. CRG acquitting themselves very well, but what an awesome flick shot there from Markov to make it a 1v1. Ben trying to trade out for the uh, AK. Doesn't fancy the orb duel. Got 13 seconds, needs to plant this bomb. You can see where Markov is in the map. He's going to allow him a plant. He's going to fancy his chances to make this clutch. So it's all about positioning now. Ben has to use the geography of this map to try and shoot Markov out. And of course, Markov has got the advantage. He's got the AWP, I think. And, and uh, well, oh yeah, and of course, Red Snake's still alive as well. So this will be a 1v3. I didn't even notice he was still alive because he had 10 HP. And Markov has taken him out. So it's a 1v1 situation. We're either going to see something special from Markov or the moment of truth from Ben. Again, something that he'll be able to talk about. He's, do, he's doing the right thing here. He's just wasting time. Knows he can't beat him in a 1v1. He's wasted so much time. He is going to effectively clutch the round from Smart play from Ben. It just goes to show you don't always need to out-aim somebody to out-brain him. So. Yeah, absolutely. I really don't like Markelov's decision to go back there, letting them plant the bomb. Uh, as you said, it's, he basically just didn't have the time to do that. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I think... You know, it's got to be said though, like, I, perhaps he wasn't aware of, uh, you know, just where they were positionally. I don't know if he saw that Ben had the bomb or not when they were doing that exchange, but it is one of the, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it's one of those things that have let CRG back into this game. I mean, five rounds, I think, uh, you know, it's 5-5. Five, five. This is good for CRG. I mean, as terrorists, five rounds is, is a great return. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they can basically lose all uh, all of the next round and still it's a decent tee half on train, I would say. And uh, just while we're in this round, which again, it's another another full buy. We've got five AKs for CRG. Let's have a quick look at the frag charts just to see who's hot and who's not. Markolov at the top of the frag charts with 12 kills and four deaths. And you can see drone top with uh, nine kills and eight deaths. But... Um, like I say, it's Red Snake that's really stood out for me. Been playing consistently well. You can see that Zeus is uh, quite low. So he's lost a lot of health in the initial exchanges. Reason's going to get a pick there on... Uh, that was for Edward and C9. He's going to answer back to give Navi 
that advantage. You can see Edward spamming away, but just having no joy. And in the end, Drone just turns around and uh, rips his head clean off his shoulders. So three on three with a definite health advantage going the way of CRG. But uh, C9, he's going to uh, get another kill. So he's on a double. Zeus is going to weigh in now. So they're all having a piece of the action. Drone's going to get one, one bullet headshot. I don't think he's aware that C9's there. And that's what C9 does best. He's just really outbrained him again and just lurked in that corner and allowed him to think that he wasn't there and that's going to make it six rounds to five for Na'Vi. I think we've got an eco incoming for CRG so yeah as, as I said earlier winning a one we one situation can backfire yeah. as it, now they will have uh, I mean they can have one eco and have like low AK, AK without armor buy but um, I don't know I think they will go for the double eco and take take one of the few last rounds. Well, let's talk uh, tactically. That's why we got this ridiculous spray down going on. That's pretty much ended the round before it begins. Uh, I mean, have you uh, been impressed at all with CRG? Is there anything you think they should be doing more of? Do you think they're doing anything right? Or is this Na'Vi playing bad? What's your take on what's happening? Uh, I think Na'Vi's playing pretty bad, but still CRG, they're playing like a decent team, I would say. I mean, they have good strats, uh, doing some good calls, like going inside there, pushing Markov's up. Uh, if they take one or two more rounds this half, they actually have a really good chance of winning this game. So yeah, you're right. Again though, they have gone for this double eco. You can see Zeus is just happy to gobble up those kills. Red Snake's going to get the uh, kill onto him and he's going to pick up his AK. In the meantime, the delay from Drone, who seems to just be kind of backstabbing. He always seems to be doing his own thing uh, for the team. Um, he has been taken down by, uh, I think it was uh, Starrix who came out of main. And in the end, that eco has not really come to anything. I do find it interesting. I don't know if it's a tactic they've got where they're trying to leave one player behind to get wraparound frags or whether it is just Drone doing his own thing and not really going with, with the team. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's very hard to tell, especially after one half like this. But mm. um, I still think like you should have one guy going last anyway, so... Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Uh, okay, so we've now seen Spuds uh, has picked up an AWP CRG as well, so we'll see if that comes into play at some point in the round. I'm sure it will do. Uh, and it looks like we've got some sort of fast push going on. They're dropping down pop of CRG. They're just going for it, smoking it off. They are really bombing it here. This is very, very aggressive. And Zeus is, oh, well, he's just waiting there with the nade in his hand. And while that happens, you can see Reason and Drone have got two entry picks. I don't think an RV knew that they were going to actually be this bold. And it's incredible play from CRG. They just no fear it like that. And they've got a very easy plan. They're in pole position here. It's a 4v2 situation. And all of a sudden, it's a 2v2 situation. Markolov with the AWP again. And Zeus, who I've got to say, has been a hugely impressive at holding that in a bombsite. And great on the rotate. All of a sudden, it's now a 2v1 situation. It's all on reason. Yeah, and I think he may be able to clutch this round. I mean, he's up in the sniper deck. Oh, it's uh, a great headshot there. Markolov knows he can get on this defuse, though. And he's using the terrain to his uh, advantage. Uh, he's oh, got it yeah, as well. And in yeah. the end, Reason just left himself with too much to do, too much ground to cover. And uh, perhaps that was a very bad plant in terms of where he was positionally. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Can you spam through that like edge from the seated tower? I don't think you can. I think it's like one of those weird things. Like It looks like it should clip. Yeah. But it act the bullets don't actually ah, go okay, through. Okay, okay. Yeah, then it's a pretty weird decision staying in that CT tower then. Well, you can see uh, we've got another pretty weird decision. Zeus <laughs> has bought an auto sniper. i actually seen this in the inner bomb site. Existence yeah. has done that as well. If you yeah, and you get right. You can use it. Crazy, but uh, reason he hasn't been perturbed by uh, that round again. CRG going very aggressive onto this A bomb site, and he's managed to get two kills. It's a 3v2 situation, make that now a 3v1 situation. Ben, with the AWP, uh, is going to try and uh, work some magic if he can. But uh, well, it's not really happening for him at the moment. It's far from magic. He's just getting naded, spammed, and uh, not been able to make a kill. And in the end, it is C9 that gets the headshot. So it's a 10-5 uh, half. I think five rounds is encouraging for CRG. I don't think any of us are really expecting CRG to uh, you know, do anything. But they've already put in the kind of showing that you, know, you would expect from a team that's better on paper. Yeah, I agree. Even though I feel like they they felt like they could get a few more rounds. 
certainly when it yeah. was at 5-5, five, five, uh, yeah. I felt that was the opportunity where realistically they could have perhaps pushed on and with some smarter play. But again, you've got to understand how much it means to players like CRG to even be playing against legends like Na'Vi. You cannot uh, underestimate that factor. Uh, what they're doing is, I mean, they're literally... Uh, you know, they're using that aura to their advantage because it, it, it gives you that adrenaline rush, that rush of blood to the head, and all of a sudden you don't make rational decisions anymore. Yeah, that's true. It's just they, uh, they miss the experience that Navi has. Mm, exactly. And you could see it on the, when they lost that uh, 4v2 situation. I think they were just nervous. So, vitally important pistol round. Navi get first blood uh, in it, and this is live. So, you can see that Spuds has been taken down red snake's going to be the guy holding in and i think that's a good choice tactically he's definitely the one guy i would want to uh, be shutting out any rushes he seems to be the guy that can make the two three kills when required yeah it seems like they're going to do an inner fake here if i'm not right yeah well we'll, we'll see um, i mean yeah they're going for flashes and smokes but what are they going to do next thing you see you're right the bomb the bomber hasn't committed to either site, so they are sending two down like on a little scouting party. Starix is going to get uh, taken down there by Red Snake, who uh, is bossing it quite well. And Drone is going to kill Edward, so this split kind of push here to try and take one bomb site and then bring the bomber to it hasn't really worked out for them. But uh, the bomb is going to be planted on A. C9 is uh, just running around the trains at the moment, just spamming all the corners, making sure there's no one lurking. You can see Zeus from distance rocking out with his Glock out. He's going to get a kill. And uh, all of a sudden, it's a 2v3 situation now. And they made that a, a 3v1 situation now in favor of Na'Vi. It's all going to be a bit too easy for them in the end. But it looked close at one point. It is Na'Vi. We're going to bring home the pistol to make it 11-5. And I think from here, we're probably going to see a whitewash. Yeah, I think the round was over when they got the bomb down on Yard. It's, it's not impossible, but almost impossible to retake that site if you have even numbers in players. Especially on the pistol around this, the T can just... Uh, Go up and down the ladders, just peeking, you're seeing if you're fuel full defusing all the time. It's, it's basically nothing you can do about it. Well, that leaves CRG with a real uphill struggle. Uh, even though they have got the CT half to look forward to, if they lose the rounds you would expect them to lose, that would make it 13 for 5. Uh, so they've, they've got a lot a massive uphill struggle. And again, no one's really expecting anything from them. They messaged me, actually, as soon as the groups were announced. And it just said, thank you for the group. And then they went offline. So uh, I don't think they were overly happy. It wasn't, it wasn't malicious. Yeah, kind of a hard group. But I yeah. mean, it's um, what can you do about it? If you are one of the lesser team going to an event, the seeding is going to do its job. Well, You're yeah. going to go in the hardest group. I mean, personally, if I was those guys, I'd be psyched about playing like yeah. Na'Vi ESC gaming. Because it's probably, I mean, realistically, it's probably the only time they're going to do it. I mean, yeah. certainly, uh, I, d I don't know where they'll all be in a, in a year. I mean, let's talk about some of them quitting to play LOL if this team doesn't work out. So, you know, I mean, it might be the only chance they get. And it'll be a great memory for them when they do finally quit playing. So, uh, you know, I mean, I'd be quite happy about it. Uh, you want to play against the, the best players when you're, um, when you're competing and see how you measure up against them. And so far, to be fair, CRG have had their moments. They haven't uh, measured up too bad. But Na'Vi at the moment, that was a great double kill. From Edwards, uh, Navi is certainly starting to find their stride, and this does look like a bit of a, a, a workout for them, like nothing too yeah, drastic. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you said earlier, it's really important for teams like CRD to be able to play these uh, <coughs> better teams to learn and learn from their mistakes. I mean, being in the lesser group, maybe going out after like uh, maybe a 15-15 or something, they will learn so much more from being in this group. Well, there's still hope for them yet, I think. Uh, I haven't uh, had a chance to check out all the results with all the wonderful other things that have been going on at the event. But um, while this eco uh, is just going ahead, we'll be able to have a look at the frag charts very soon. A nice little double for Zeus. And uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a mix-up they've got at the moment. Some SMGs, a Galil, an AWP. Na'Vi not too concerned, and you can see that's a 5v3, this eco not really working out. Red Snake's played that really well, apart from the fact he hadn't factored in Starrix to be uh, just waiting. So, uh, Starrix and Edwards, pick up some kills, drone again, not for the first time, last man standing, and far, far away from the team, 13-5. So, okay, we've got a buy round coming in. Uh, Bjorn, how, how do you think CRG are going to play this now? It looks like we've got a double up setup. 
I really think uh, CRG needs to win like, the first of all, they need to connect like four or five rings to the in straight in a row. Plus they must win like two or three rows flawlessly to get back in this game. Even then it will be quite hard, so they have a lot of pressure on them right now. Absolutely, there's no doubt about that, that uh, it's pressure, but uh, anything's possible. So uh, the double ops is very interesting on train. I think it's one of the maps where it's <laughs> viable, but not if you <laughs> not if you're going up against Markov and he does things like that. So one up neutralized, and uh, Markov looking really really sharp. I think he's starting to look a lot like he's all 1.6 yeah, self. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it looks so easy. I know, and we all ridiculous. know how difficult it is to AWP in CS:GO. Yeah. Like it is not easy at all. There's something fundamentally not right with it at the moment. Yeah. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but the delay. But again, Markolov there just didn't seem to be suffering from that. You know, again, just makes it look effortless. But it is a 4v4 situation now. Narvi just uh, playing it slow. They don't want to do anything stupid. I'm sure they're not going to be uh, worried by their opponents, but they're certainly not going to do anything to make it harder for themselves. So they are just... Feeling out where they might be. You can see C9 is pushing into uh, the inner bombs right now. He is going to uh, get a kill and a plant. So uh, the rest of the RV are going to uh, rotate round. I think it's actually in favor of the uh, CRG anyways. I mean, it's so easy to retake this bomb site if there's no smokes. Well, I, I agree with you. It, it, when you play in normal players, uh, it should be quite an easy retake for them. But... Uh, this is a cause Navi, and it's going to be preying on their minds, but uh, they're doing a good job so far. They've made it a 3v1 situation. Edward's going to make it a 3v2 situation. Ben needs to hit this shot and does. That is going to enable his chum to get on the defuse, and uh, they're up and running in this uh, CT half. So that was uh, that double AWP set up in the end did work out for them. Yeah, great job for C from CRDJ. But still, as I said the last round, the... Uh now that they lost three players, basically if they lose this round, they basically lose the game because yeah. they will reset their bomb system. So they have to string these rounds together and they have to build economy. Uh, <coughs> winning a round, losing three guys, you're not building economy. You're just going plus, like even, even out. Like you. That's a couple of reasons, but I don't know, what have we got here? We got M4s and we got pharmacies. Well, that's happening. Oh, they have just absolutely <laughs> annihilated them. They just ran through some smokes. Very similar to what CRG themselves did in a previous round, and it's just played havoc with them. But in the end, it's Red Snake trying to claw his way back into this game with two very nice kills. But uh, the bomb is down. It's ticking away. Do not see how they can get back into it from this point, especially with uh, Spuds being very low. Only got 20 HP, and there you go. One nade will do it. Just drop will do you. So there you go. 14 to 6. Things not looking very good for CRG. And like you said, this is the round that if they lost it, it could really, really hurt them, and they probably lost the game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we actually see a scout from Red Snake and uh, the other guys have pistol. I wonder if they're just pistol or something, <laughs> <laughs> buying random weapons. So I don't well, know. yeah, I, I think at this point they probably thought, you know, we're uh, we're not going much further. I think um, it's got to be said though, it's an improvement on how they played against DSC. They only got three rounds in that game, so uh, they got six at least here. Yeah, and they started as a T on three. Yeah. that's worth noting. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll see if there are any more positives to come out of it. We'll see if uh, this scout can do anything. Probably not. But uh, in the end, Starix is just going to be uh, on the same bomb here, just spamming away at the CRG while they're having a little kind of face off with him. <laughs> and in the end, Markov is getting the kill, and then Starix rocks up. So that's going to make it 15 rounds to six, and match point for uh, the Ukrainians. So we'll uh, we'll just keep on the commentary for this round, and then I think I'll bring you in at the end for a summary. Um, so let's see what they're going to do now. Navi making it look very easy. They're playing at a nice leisurely pace, uh, a very professional job. They haven't uh, done anything too forceful, too aggressive. They haven't done anything too tactical. They have literally just relied on their superior individual skill, it seems, and uh, Markelov in particular has stood out uh, very well. And indeed, let's have a quick look and see how the frags are going. It's actually Edward that's at the top with 20 for uh, for 12, and it's Drone with uh, the Baitmaster with 14. 
for 16. Starix is going to get uh, one kill, two kill. And for some reason, Auto Director finds the, uh, the the smoke deployment far more interesting than that, which uh, that, that's one of the flaws of it. Sometimes it's not perfect. It's still way better than in 1.6. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I think it's great. I mean, it's, it's the sign of the streams, isn't it? Like back in the day, it was turn Auto Director off, turn Auto Director <laughs> off. Now it's turn Auto Director on. So it's definitely come a long way. Red Snake, the last man standing. No spicy Mark love ripping his head off. It's GG's. And uh, it's pretty much as expected. 16 rounds to six. And there we go. Na'Vi have passed their first test, uh, if you like. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but sure. I mean, they haven't played a single.